I have been debating about making this video for a little while now, but after seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, it kind of just solidified the fact that I just needed to make this video to kind of as therapy, I guess, just to get it out of my head, get my thoughts out in the world, and just talk about the state of the MCU. So I don't know how in-depth I'm going to go, but just potential spoilers for all the MCU stuff since Endgame... I'm probably going to talk about it in some way or another. So I am no doubt a person who really enjoys the MCU like a lot of other people over the last 15 years. From the first Iron Man to Endgame, the MCU was really, really solid to really great, right? Not a lot of disappointing movies in there. Of course, there's a few clunkers, but overall for all the movies that they made over that, I believe, 11 years, the majority of them were really good and a ton of fun to watch. But after Endgame, I think all of us fans kind of just thought like, where is this gonna go and it was just kind of us waiting to see of like the will is gonna fall off or what's gonna happen well I think it's safe to say to some extent at least the wheels have fallen off at least from my perspective ever since phase four started with Black Widow I think there's just been a run of just mediocrity to really bad for MCU films and MCU shows in the phase four of Marvel movies to me personally Personally, there's not a good movie in there. From Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals, Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange, Thor Love and Thunder, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I personally don't think there is a good movie in there. I really don't. And before anyone says, oh, how about Spider-Man No Way Home? To me, if it wasn't for the cameos, it would be one of the worst movies I think I've watched for the MCU. Because it is pretty much a main character in Spider-Man making a stupid choice with Doctor Strange helping the main character make even a dumber choice. And if it wasn't for the cameos, it's just blah. There's nothing there. And I'm sure plenty of you out there will disagree with me, and that's okay. It's just not my thing. Did I enjoy seeing Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield? Of course. That's a lot of fun. The villains, too. Again, a lot of fun to see that. But the overall story that they were trying to tell, just not my thing. And I also feel that way about Doctor Strange, too. I feel like he was kind of usurped in his own movie, and it was pretty much about Wanda and American Chavez. That's it. It wasn't even about Doctor Strange. It was just him helping those two characters out. It should have been their own movie and Doctor Strange have his movie actually about him. Thor Love and Thunder, I honestly think is the worst MCU movie I've ever watched. It is utterly and laughably horrendous. It is gut-wrenchingly bad. And as much as I like Thor and Chris Hemsworth, Love and Thunder is god-awful. The action isn't fun. The jokes don't hit at all. The characters don't develop at all. Hell, they go backwards. The story they're overall telling is just sad and depressing. And again, it's another main character that has their movie usurped from them with Jane. And I get her circumstances are sad. It's always fun to see Natalie Portman. But it's a Thor movie, but really not about Thor. And this is a trend that a lot of these MCU movies and shows have done over this past phase. And for me personally, I'm not a fan about that at all. And to dig into Black Panther for a second, I know the circumstance is really sad that Chadwick Boseman passed away. I totally understand that. But that aside, they really should have recasted the role for T'Challa. Just for the fact that how can you have a Black Panther movie without the Black Panther in the movie. And for them to kill him off screen in some sad way, really? They couldn't even do like a Carrie Fisher use old footage that they had laying around to like deep fake T'Challa having some scenes. Instead, they just kill him off screen. I just don't like that at all. And I know Shuri becomes the Black Panther and so forth. But again, not digging that either. T'Challa is one of the coolest characters they've introduced into the MCU. And for them to just do what they did, it's just really real sad and I just don't like it at all. They did the best they could I guess. Comes back to the fact that they should have just recasted the role. That way you could have T'Challa the real Black Panther for years to come. And I'm just going to briefly touch on the TV series on Disney Plus for the MCU. I think they're all horrible. I really do. I don't like any of them at all. I think they all are subpar and lacking because most of them are strong for maybe an episode or two and that's about as much content as they actually wrote and then they just stretch all the stuff out to be eight nine ten episodes and it's just not my thing i don't like any of them from wandavision down to she hulk i think they're all pretty horrible so that kind of moves us into technically phase five now with the new ant-man movie and i watched it this past week and i gotta say it's just more of the same it is a average at best 
best MCU film, and it's another MCU movie where the main character pretty much gets kicked out of his own movie. I know it's good to introduce characters and new characters into sequels and long-lasting properties. I fully understand that, but it's kind of what I feel about like Star Wars or any other big franchises. I go to a Marvel movie to see superhero stuff and enjoy it, and I, I went to the movie to see Ant-Man, not Ant-Man's daughter just slam dunk all over Scott Lang for not doing enough as an activist and doing whatever else. And on that topic, we can't forget about Hank Pym's speech about socialism. Now that is one thing Ant-Man's daughter did well. She cut him off from speaking more about it. I went to the movie to see Ant-Man do cool Ant-Man stuff. And his cool Ant-Man stuff in the quantum realm has no real meaning because we do have no sense of scale in the quantum realm. And it just is a giant fart in the wind. It really is. It's not a very good movie. I thought the guy who played Kang did a decent enough job. I guess we'll see where that goes. I know he's in Loki also, and there's, you know, a thousand million Kangs or, or what have you. We'll see how they do that. I, of course, don't find him as menacing as Thanos, but I do think the actor did a good job with what he had. So maybe there's potential there in the future. In a more larger scale, I'm just sick of these MCU movies just baiting and switching all the characters. I mean, you go to watch an Ant-Man movie and look at that it's about Ant-Man's daughter and it's just completely about her go to Doctor Strange movie and what do you know it's not even really about him it's about Wanda and American Chavez go to a Thor movie what do you know it's about Jane and it's just sad to see Marvel truly losing its way over the last few years I know it's hard to do since Endgame because they have no real idea what they're doing I know they're building up King but the majority of these movies where they've introduced new characters and so forth none of them have really stuck the land in any way and ultimately there's just no weight or meaningfulness left in the mcu the mcu has smoked their pack for lack of a better term it's gone there's no more magic left in the bottle it's done and unless they have a drastic change here soon i don't see it changing and i think it's just gonna fizzle out eventually kind of like the fox x-men franchise i think it's just gonna eventually fizzle out i know they're still making tons of money and selling toys and everything and that's fine but it will never have the prestige it once did and for me i watched all of the marvel movies from iron man to endgame loved them all you know to varying degrees of course, but I gotta say this phase four, the shows and going into phase five, it's pretty much lost me. It really has. I'm about to slide the MCU into the same category as Star Wars where love the old stuff for what it was and the new stuff I can't stand and I'm just not gonna watch it or support it really in any way because ultimately what Marvel has become and what Star Wars has become is just an avenue for Disney and Marvel to push their agenda and their overall message. And I think that is the main reason why a lot of these movies end up being movies about other characters. Marvel and Star Wars, they don't want to just tell fun stories anymore with fun characters. And the majority of people that go to watch fun films like Ant-Man or Thor or Iron Man, they just want to be entertained and not think about these hard-hitting political issues and things that make people really upset. They just want to sit back in a recliner, eat some popcorn, drink a soda, and enjoy a fun superhero movie or a Star Wars movie or what have you. And that is not what we've been getting at all over the last few years. And it's just truly unfortunate. I really hope Star Wars can turn around one day. I really hope Marvel can. But at this point right now, I just don't truly think they are. I think it's going to kind of keep going downwards. And that's just kind of what it's going to be until either it fizzles out completely, like I said before, or there's going to be a true renaissance of the MCU and it's going to really turn itself around in some way or another. But that probably won't come for a few more years, even if it does turn itself around. So definitely we are in the dark age of the MCU, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens over the next, say, two to four years where this ends up going. For me personally, I'm not very hopeful for the future. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I've been kind of wanting to talk about the state of the MCU for a while. And after seeing Ant-Man, it kind of solidified the fact that I needed to talk about it. I needed to kind of get this out and just kind of give my general thoughts on just where it's been, where it's going, and just why are things happening this way, you know? So I think I said what I needed to say. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Maybe what has been your uh, favorite phase four movie or show? Well, let me know down in the comment section below. And while you're down there, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys, everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching.